Alright, so we got a great awesome book. Hello for a plot questers, it is the Aaron of Plot Quester, and today we got 1984 by George Orwell. And well, let's get right on to it. So, the main character is Winston. And this is a world where basically the government watches everything that you do. They watch you eat, they watch you shower, they watch you do everything. Everything that you do is regulated. And you aren't allowed to do anything that the government doesn't allow you to do. And you aren't even allowed to think the way you want to. Which is sort of kind of terrible, not gonna lie. And Winston, within the government, works in the Ministry of Truth, where he rewrites history for the entirety of the party or the government's benefit. Meanwhile, his little mind is starting to rebel against the government, and this is his story about going against the government in little ways, and then getting captured, tortured, and giving up. And that's basically the book. And the significance of this, I guess, is mostly on how the individual fights against a and just society. I guess that's sort of related to like the Nazis, where they like sort of brainwash you from books and sort of like make you think only in the way that the government wants you to think. And that's really the main point of the book, I guess. And it is also about how the individual can't really go against the government and truly win and is being really brainwashed and how people won't know what is wrong if the world is in that sort of way, I guess. And personally speaking, I really don't like dystopia as a genre, genre especially this kind of dark ending dystopia like the open-ended because like they're just I don't I don't really like them I like a little bit of character development and then even if the character dies at the end I want to get I want the character to um pull through you know to have to get the goal or something but uh, in dystopian books like this where it's open-ended we have the character just give up like nothing had happened and although that's realistic and that's fitting to the genre and all that, it's just not my type of story. I like a good kind of story arc where the character develops and goes ahead and changes, but and then sort of grows. But in the, this kind of book with dystopia, uh, dystopia uh, this is not my first time reading this kind of book, but it's just sort of like, let, for, let's see an example, Winston. He gets captured by the Ministry of Love, which is like the police. They torture him. Then they make, uh, they threaten him with his greatest fear, which are rats. They make him denounce like his lover, and then he's like gone, and that, and then he's he's done, and they let him go, and then he immediately sort of rushes in and says that the entire society is all just and good and that he was just lost, and now he apparently now likes Big Brother, which is the government, and he's no longer rebelling. I feel like that's really unrealistic. Of course, after getting out of the shock of the situation of the torture, some of it might make sense. However, that those emotions immediately turning to love and loyalty for the government is a little bit weird in my opinion. I guess it's possible technically because that kind of big trauma and powerful feelings can easily turn into opposite hate to love love to hate however i i just doesn't really click with me and i wish there was more of a transition there and i believe that people really think this book is a good book because it really shows what kind of society the exaggerated version of the, the kind of society that we would criticize where people only listen to the government they don't know what's wrong they're being brainwashed etc etc it's like a criticism against the Nazi way of ruling and etc. and things like that. However, it's just like, if you want to do that, just do it in the textbook. Like, it's not, I don't just, I just don't like this kind of book in general. And although I guess the way that it shows it through this kind of story is commendable, but when I first actually read the ending and everything, I thought, the first thing that I thought was, was George Orwell dumped by his girlfriend and drunk when he read this, when he wrote this? Then I thought, eh, it's dystopia, so it kind of makes sense. But still, just because the genre is like that doesn't mean it has to have this kind of ending. I wish there was a little bit more to it 
where the a little bit more of Winston's psychology at the end could have been described, for example, that might have made it a little bit better, even if George Orwell wanted to go with this really pessimistic ending that really forgoes humanity. And that's pretty much my opinion on the book, and like always, your plot twister and your plot twister. Like I said, I'm not a big fan of dystopian genre, but if you like this kind of really uh, dystopian genre that really um, hounds on society and criticizes it using a dystopian society, because this kind of society, it's like a dystopian society is a society that used to be a utopian society, or a utopian society that went wrong. And showing what would happen and showing what did happen in 1984, I believe, is really creative and really interesting to read. Interesting, not not fun, but it's very interesting. And yeah, uh, I'm not gonna highly recommend it to you because, like I said, I personally don't like it. However, it is a good book, per se. And so, yeah, have a good day. Goodbye.